are you doing today? I'm here again with a new video and this video I have a MacBook Pro which as soon as you turn on it does a uh, hard drive sound click sound and it just turns off and if you have the same situation and you want to repair it you should watch this video so I'm gonna take you step by step how to take it apart and how to fix it okay first thing first you want to flip it over you're gonna remove the screws at the bottom side there are four on the top side and four on the bottom and one on each side so you're gonna go ahead and remove all this All right, now that we remove the bottom screws, you want to grab the cover, bottom cover from the back end, just put your finger right underneath and pull up, lift up. All right, so this is the bottom chassis, bottom cover. Next down here, this MacBook Pro already been a little bit modified. Uh, we removed the DVD ROM and we put a caddy to put an extra hard drive. Next step, we're going to disconnect first the battery just by pulling up this plastic right here. Just pull it towards the ceiling. And there we go. Next, we're going to start moving, removing all the flex cables from this end. So, just remove this one. Put that one over there. Pull this up. This one you have to slide it towards the back, so you want to pull this one up. You want to get yourself a tweezers really here to remove this one. This is for the backlight. In order to remove this one, you have to lift this end up 90 degrees and then pull out the ribbon cable, just like that. For the fan connectors, just up, up, don't pull out, just lift it up. Next, you want to go to the next fan connectors, same thing. Now we get to the LCD cable right here. You want to lift up this plastic. And now it's slide it towards the corner where the power jack is. Just like that. Try not to bend too much this cable. Next, at the bottom side here, you want to disconnect this one. Uh, we have the battery. We're gonna remove these two screws to remove this plate right here. And so you remove the plate. There is two connectors. One right here, which is already been removed, is underneath. And this is the keyboard. The same thing with the keyboard. You wanna lift up this end, 90 degrees. Um, or slide the cable flexor to the one side. Now that we remove this cable, now we're gonna start unscrewing the motherboard. I'm gonna put in a description the type of screwdrivers that you need, the kit. So we're gonna start screwing this corner first, and then this one right there. You're gonna remove the fan. Once you remove the three screws on top of the fan, you can go ahead and lift up the fan. Uh, you want to clean it with a toothbrush, old toothbrush, or a can of air, whichever you want. Next, we're going to go to the top side and mid. Now, remove the three screws that hold the other fan. Next, there's a screw right by the LCD jack. Remove the two screws for the power jack. Remove the screw right by the fan jack. The one down here. The one by the power battery connector. Uh, once you remove that, do not remove the four screws which are by the RAM. So you don't need to remove those. But once you have removed all this, you're going to start picking up the motherboard from this side where the DVD ROM is slowly and pull out towards the CD one and then now you can lift it up and there we go so down here you have the keyboard you have the backlight and 
the connectors. There's not too much here, and there's a battery right here. If you want to remove the battery, just unscrew the screws right in here in front, and it will come out very easy. Now we're going to work on the motherboard, so I'm going to put my working towel here. All right. First thing first, we're going to remove the RAM from here by pulling these clips apart. And just pull it apart and just pull to slide them out. Now you can go ahead and disconnect this power jack just by pulling. You want to replace your jack, this is as far as you go. Next, we're going to remove the speaker in here and the mic by disconnecting the mic jack. Just pull it up. And the speaker. Right here. Remove the two screws that hold the speaker. Next, we're gonna remove the heat sink right here. And these are one of at least better heat sinks than the new 2018 MacBook Pros. This is, I think this one is a 2012 MacBook Pro. So remove the Two, three, four, five screws, and six. And the reason I like these uh, heat sinks is because the, the springs are, they are right over the screws right there, and they have a really good uh, tension right there on them. So there we have it. There's your CPU and your GPU. You're gonna grab an alcohol and you're gonna clean up the old thermal paste on both. Right, now that the heatsink is clean, you want to also clean with a, a brush all the heat pins right here, clean everything. And the problem with this MacBook Pro is that when it just when you power it, it just shuts down. The problem is with the AMD video chip that they have built in here, and the soldering joints underneath they are not actually making a good contact. They dry up, they crack up sometimes, and sometimes it could be from the inside the die right here because it's a flip chip design. So, and you heat it up for about 120 degrees for 5 to 10 minutes, and the soldering joints will go back and make the contacts with the board and even inside the crystal die. So, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this whole board with an alcohol and a brush and we're going to isolate the chip with an aluminum tape and we're going to remove these epoxies which are in every four corners I don't know if you guys can see those There's one epoxy on every corner here you can remove these ones with about a little bit of heat and you can just pick them up with a tweezer and then we're going to Isolate. All right. Now that everything is cleaned up, uh, we're gonna remove these two heat sinks on these two chips. So there's four screws in total. We're gonna remove those and also clean up the chips. You're gonna put the new thermal paste over this. Now you're gonna grab your aluminum foil tape. I'll put the link in the description where you can buy this one. This is a higher gauge. So you can shield the processor and all the components around it. So you're going to cut four size of these ones, about four or five centimeters long. Not all the time the cases are with a video chip. I don't want you guys to think that every solution is being, it can be fixed with a video chip heating up. But in this particular case, it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to isolate the chip around it. So at the back we have the rerun chip, so we're going to make sure we cover all those. I'm not going to cover up the CPU because there's nothing wrong with heating it up while it's turned off. Alright. Now that we have this one ready, I'm going to go to the workstation, the 
I'm gonna remove the epoxies and I'm gonna stop adding a liquid flux right underneath the video chip and I'm gonna add a little bit of the under the CPU and I'm gonna heat it up at 180 degrees for about 5 to 10 minutes and you guys can do the same thing at home but if you want to use a new hair dryer you can do that but you need about 10 to 15 minutes with about 3 or 2 inches away from the CPU or GPU alright now that we have clean up the epoxies, apply the heat and clean up the chips and we're gonna run the last cleanup over the dice and we're gonna apply the thermal paste I'm gonna use my Artex Silver 5 thermal paste for this one. Then we're gonna grab the heat sink. Put the screws cross each other. Now we are almost done here. Now we're gonna put it back together. Grab your motherboard. First, you're gonna connect the power jack. Also, I'd rather put the RAM in first. jack in the corner. Oh, before we do that I almost forgot. You have to put the speakers and the mic back in. Now you can go ahead and flip it over. Once you have it in this position, while you go down, make sure there's no cables underneath. Don't get it stuck underneath. Uh, put them on a little more to the right. Make sure the screw holes are aligned. Put in the cable. Else, uh, the keyboard. Flex in. Uh, I'm gonna put the screws for the power jack. I'm gonna run a quick test to see if you have any power. We're gonna put the connectors here. Hard drive. I'm not gonna put that second. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in. Grab the fans. Put the fans in. Plug one in. The fan connectors, you have to push them down. So you don't have to slide them. Got the other fan. I remember there's a backlight right there. Right there. Alright, before we put anything back, anything else, I'm just gonna turn it on, power it on. Uh, we have a screen. And now we have to actually install the operating system. Because I had the operating system on my SSD hard drive. I'm gonna switch back to my SSD hard drive. If you wanna change your hard drive, just remove the screws right on top here. And then look for the hard drive. Pull out the connectors. Also, you have to change the 
screws from here, you need to remove this. If you guys have any questions, any comments, you know where to leave them. Plug on the adapter. Put down this end. Right, let's run the test again. We all in business. So let's power it up, and we're gonna put the bottom cover back in. And this is how you do your own service for your MacBook Pro. I hope you guys like this video, and if you guys subscribe, I appreciate it. Help me to make more videos and answer your questions. You want to grab the bottom cover, slide it go just right on top, and put the rest of the screws at the bottom. Remember the three long ones goes all the way on the top, and the rest you go on the bottom. And I hope you guys like this video, and if you like it, thumbs up, and thanks for subscribing guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video.